Okay, so now for Thursday items for week six, what you're gonna do is we're gonna put this order back in what you're used to. So the lecture comes first. So this is just a completion of what you started here. Remember I had you analyze the first half of the files in your index.html file on part one, and then on part two, you'll do the next half, right? So whatever that is. And again, if you didn't go exactly half, mostly because of what I talked about last time, meaning that they were more prominent, like, I'm sorry, the first half of the HTML had a little bit more code that you had analyzed. You know, if it wasn't exactly even at half, just finish it up this time. Okay, so then you're looking at, let me go ahead and pull up my template, my index file, right? So now that I've looked at the half, wherever, and again, I had about 100 and 227, so a lot of this. Again, remember, this is redundant. So once you describe, so here's my footer, right? So footer only is going to show up once, so I could look at, okay, what is in the footer? I have a container, and so I would look at the CS. We've talked about container before, right? Uh, oh, list in lines. So I'd want to look at that style to see what was there, right? And this is just LI item. So it's not as if you have to have a, you know, you could talk about this as a block. So lines 202 through 210 are, are an unordered list with a list item inside. They, and this is where you just want a little bit of content like you, uh, it's a list inline item. So I'd want to go look at what that class is, where is it coming from and what, um, what does it provide to my style. And then, of course, while doing that, the best way is actually just to look at this. Oh, here it is, right? Here it is on my local system. So I could go, oh, okay. So if I right click in, this is where inspect is totally your friend, right? So I'd be like, hmm, okay. So there's this style in here. And then I see it's a link and then it's a class Twitter. Okay. So that's where it's pulling the icon. I see that. So social links here. And so I'd want to go look at those uh, styles to see are they boot most likely bootstrap styles that are creating this output. This is the uh, style that I'm guessing is going to create the item itself. And then the wrap, the larger wrap one here would be list inline list social. Okay. So that's the kind of stuff. I, I mean, I know it's kind of vague. Uh, I'm not giving you a solid example here. More than anything, I just want you to spend time getting to know that template. Okay. Okay, so this week, you complete that process, template two, right? Uh, again, just give us, um, right? And I actually say the CSS bootstrap classes, right? Because I I, that's part of what you want to do here. And this was from last semester, so I'll modify that content, right? Because, but what will happen eventually is you'll be actually analyzing the bootstrap classes unless your template also had some classes that it provided that, uh, and that's where your inspect will help you figure out where those are coming from. Okay. Okay. So once you do that, let's go back here, um, finish that up. And then what you're going to do, and this is the bulk of what we're going to look at this time for this video, um, is really to build your site from the template. And I'm just going to walk you through the verse, first beginnings of this for me and show you generally how I approach this. Because here's the thing, I don't want to use all the files that got brought over on my template, right? I only want to use the ones I absolutely need. Okay. And that just makes, in, in the sense, it'll feel like in the beginning, like why not bring them all over? Well, it's actually part of what I'm trying to help you understand about the importance of understanding what each thing is doing, at least at a certain level. So here's what I do. I would look at my index file for my template and I would select all and copy it. Okay. Just copy it. And now, now, the work we've done before, you could, if you wanted to create a backup folder and put it in there, right? For me, I just have the basic HTML. Uh, now, be clear where you're working here. So I'm going to go into here and I'm just going to paste that in, right? 
Now, it should be very broken at this point. Right, if I just did this part, again, remembering having autosave on here, it'll create uh, a much better experience for you. So the first thing I would do is flip over to my browser and look at this and refresh this. Okay, let me make sure I'm still in here. Oh, now my, where I'm looking at, at least on my local system is still in that directory. So I want to back, and what do I mean by that? That's the template directory here. So what I really want to do is look at the, I know, I know it's going to be broken. Oh, it's badly broken. But this is the idea of understanding where each piece is coming from. Okay. So I'm like, okay, so what do I need to include? Well, this is where your analysis helps you out tremendously. Right. So I'm like, okay, if I scroll up to the top, and this is generally good as to start at the top and move your way down. I see that at the top, there was some vendor bootstrap. So versus CDN, which we did when we did our index before, this is actually has the full bootstrap implementation. Now, in this case, I could change it to a CDN, but for the purposes of this, we'll keep it a little easier. And then I see some bootstrap and some font awesome. So I'd go into that directory and I'd go, okay, in that vendor directory, I see that there's a bootstrap directory, a font awesome, a jQuery, and a simple icon. So I could just first rebuild that structure, right? Because I'm like, okay, and look at all the places I'm going to need it. Oh, I also see I need this, but let's not go there yet. Let's start kind of one at a time. So I'm like, I need bootstrap. I need font awesome or font awesome under the vendor. I need simple. Oh, okay, simple. Oh, simple line icons. Okay, so maybe that's where those came in. So I think it's better. Now I could just copy this whole directory, but I think that's a little too much. Why not just build it up the pieces that you need? And you might be going, hmm, seems easier to do it the other way around right? So I'm going to, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to go into, and this is where navigating, knowing where directory you're in, because if I'm clicked here, I'm into the root of that directory. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call it vendor. Cool. And then in that new folder called vendor, what am I going to need? Oh, I'm going to need a one called bootstrap, right? making sure, being very cautious that I am actually typing it exactly as they have it. Okay, so now I have that one and I needed font awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna be in vendor. And this is actually good because it kind of, it really makes you understand how well you know, and actually it's font awesome free now that I'm looking at it, okay. So I think you get the idea here, right? So as uh, Google Fonts is an external, like a CDN reference, so I don't need that. I do need simple, right? So I'm just going to do some of this folder stuff. So I'm going to pause real quick, do some of my folder and come back. Okay, so let me show you what I did and just my process here. So what I did is I went through the vendor directory. I copied over the bootstrap, the font awesome, which by the way, I had uh, created with the name that was incorrect. So I had to fix that. So I did that from here just by doing a rename. And then I brought over line icons. So I rebuilt what I felt I need and then I'll come back and get stuff as it's not rendering correctly. And I knew I needed the CSS directory. So I recommend again, doing these a piece at a time. And it may feel a little weird that you're working in a subdirectory and copying things over, but right click, copy right now in the CSS I knew I needed to bring the whole thing I came back to the root of my site and I hit paste okay so that's how I created it so I can see how well I'm building up the page by looking at the output so let me show you this I I went over and I refreshed this to see oh yeah so I'm getting there so I'm having uh, some success because I can see the general style here, but I can also see there's things missing, but that's the idea of what you're doing. You're like, okay, and it, it is really just another level of analysis that you're doing to see how well you understand what creates that site. So now I'd wanna go, okay, do, what's in the images? 
oh, I know what this is. I'm actually going to need this. So I'd copy this, right? And again, I'm just kind of showing you, now your template's going to be different, right? Because your files, your folder structure is going to be different. So once I copy that images directory over, I hit refresh. Okay, I start seeing this other these others show up. So what you want to do here is get this as close to what your original template looked like, right? Without just copying the whole thing over, right? So I'd want to go, okay, do I need these? Hmm, am I going to use these mockups? And you know what the answer is? I probably am not going to use the mockups because I'm going to use this just for a site for my own life. Okay. So maybe I don't need those. So I know I got to fix that. I am going to need the JS. Okay. Most likely I'm not going to need the uh, SCSS. And that's because we're not using build processes to do it. So this is also just helping you understand because we're not using some of these build processes, you probably don't need that. But let me go ahead and bring over this. I'm going to copy that directory. And I'm going to come back into here and I'm going to paste it. Okay. Okay. So now I kind of go, okay, what else? I know that was not going to come through. Okay. I yeah, look, I got the images down. Hey, this is looking pretty good, right? So what I'd want to do is once I have it to where I'm like, that's what I know I need. That's a good start. Nothing's broken for the most part. It's working. And then I would do my GitHub, right? So git add star, right? Git status. Oh, yeah, I got all that stuff. Git commit dash M uh, building, right? Uh, from template. And that's really what, and this is such an important step. Okay. Great. Okay. So now before I do the push, I'm just going to go out and show you, right? So now I've been working locally and now I'm actually going to go out to my site out on GitHub with the, um, remembering what we've looked at. So we go to my real waller, your username, GitHub IO, I'm going to look at the file. It's going to take a second here. There's nothing here right now because I haven't done the git push yet. Okay. So I've done the git add, I've done the git commit, and now I'm going to do the git push. Cool. And this may take again a moment here. Oh yeah. So this is actually good. Uh, what it actually gave me here, it did complete, but it found some vulnerabilities in the IO. So I definitely want to go look at what those are. Again, you may or may not get this, but let's just go ahead and come back out here and give it a second. Now this step right here, <clears throat> sorry, this could take a moment. So I think what I'll do is complete the last item and then we'll come back because it did push it. It just gave me, <clears throat> uh, a little bit of a heads up there. Okay. So now this is building your site. So what you want to do in this step, and I actually left a video I did last uh, semester for this, just more about the building of the site itself. Uh, you can look at that, but it really, I went over most of it here. Okay. And then, so you'll give a link to your site here. Uh, and I'll walk you through how I did this one, right? Provide us your newly updated link site and discuss any issues you may have run into. This is an important step. Okay, so now the last thing you need to do is some research here. So in this last step of week six, I want you to learn about FTP because FTP, which is File Transfer Protocol, which is the way we've done websites in the past, moving them from local to a server, you in this class are not doing that protocol. You are using Git. Uh, there actually is an equivalent FTP on Git, but we're not using it, right? So I just want you to do some research on FTP itself, right? The protocol, the software, the issues, and post your research. So, you know, you're 150 words and your normal two replies here. And FTP is still around. It's still used by a lot of people, but many people are moving away from FTP because it's got issues around security and other things. And there's command line utilities we do for this stuff. All right, let me go back and see if my, oh, it did, took it a moment here. So here's the key. Now you're going to give this link for your uh, building your site, but remember your template is still there. 
okay? It still exists and it's, and I can actually go back and forth now and see like what isn't rendering through, right? I could have done that before, but this is an easy way to do it. But the link that you're gonna give us is to what you built, right? So I built that. Mm, yeah, so I understand, oh yeah, see, I can actually see from here, looking at um, going back to here, oh yeah, so I see that there's some uh, classes, there's some bootstrap things I need to fix in there, but that's okay, that's what you'll do as we move forward. Okay, so I hope this this is a solid week for us, doing some really critical things, moving us forward to get us ready for our Dev Zero. Right, so in week seven, uh, we're going to continue, and I'll show you how to build pages uh, in here. We'll talk about front end framework. So good week. I hope you enjoyed the work and got and were successful. And if you weren't, I hope you reached out and got help. Have a good one.